Good morning, Forest. I'm Emma. Today's day is May 8th, and on today's show, I will have all your Wildcat news and updates. Hey, Wildcats. I'm Hannah Harper, and I'm going to show you how to stay ahead on your schoolwork. It's important to plan out your week so you know when your homework is due. I like to use a calendar, and I write when my homework is due and what days I'm going to do it. If you don't have a calendar, you can use a planner or the calendar app on your phone. By doing this, you're less likely to forget to do your work, and you may even have extra free time because you get it done faster. Try to do this next week to improve your study methods. Now back to the anchor. Thank you, Hannah. Students, if you are in need of internet to complete your online schooling, Forrest is offering a Wi-Fi hotspot at the front parking lot of the school. Although many local stores and restaurants are opening back up to 25% capacity, some businesses, such as Publix, have been open throughout this entire lockdown. Hallie has a live interview with a Publix employee to talk about some changes that have been going on, especially with the stay-at-home order being lifted. Hey Wildcats, I'm Hallie Miller, and I'm here with a former Wildcat, Emily Miller, who is an employee at Publix. Emily, could you tell us about what your job is at Publix? Yeah, so right now I am currently a customer service employee at the 40 East Publix. I do everything from cashiering to bagging to helping customers find what is needed around the store, helping them to their car, pretty much anything that is needed customer related. Well, that's great. Can you tell us about how Publix has changed since social distancing has started? Yeah, so we actually have our hours adjusted right now. They are open from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. every day. However, we do have extra hours on Tuesdays and Thursdays in the morning for our senior citizens and then on Thursday nights and Friday mornings for our first responders since we want to be able to get them into the stores and they need to get what they need as well while we're trying to help everyone out. And then also we do have arrows that are now in our aisles. They're pointing how you need to go. Pretty much it's a one-way directional arrow on each of the aisles. It's really hard for us to try to get used to it but it's something that's kind of, you know, starting to help and people keeping their distance because social distancing is such a big deal right now. But those are pretty much the big things. Lots of sanitizing going around, hand sanitizer everywhere. Oh, and we all have to wear masks. So all Publix employees are required to wear masks while they're on their shift, no matter what department you're in. So that's been a big, really, really big change as well. Okay, well, thanks for all of that information. This has been Hallie Miller reporting for WCAT. Now back to the anchor. Students, make sure you follow Ms. Brown at FHS underscore Wildcat Life and our guidance office at Guidance Wildcat on Twitter for daily school updates. That's all the news I have for you today. To stay updated on all things Forest, make sure to follow us at FHS underscore WCAT on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, I'm Emma. Have a great day, Forrest, and like always, go Cats!